649. This is your morning in eight minutes. Right now, a Kingsport family is desperate to find a loved one. Jeremy Stout hasn't been seen since May 7th. Investigators say he told his mom he was taking a bus from Knoxville back to Kingsport, but he never made it. Police say there's no evidence that he got off in Greenville or Johnson City. They also couldn't confirm with Greyhound if he even got on the bus. If you see him, call police. And this morning, we're learning how a Maryville couple died while on vacation in the Bahamas. Robbie and Michael Phillips, along with a third person in another unit, were found dead inside their villas at a Sandals Beach resort. According to the Nassau Guardian, a newspaper in the Bahamas, the three died from carbon monoxide poisoning. The paper says the pathologist is expected to release the findings of the autopsy and a toxicology report soon. The medical examiner did the initial autopsies earlier this month, but the family requested a private pathologist conduct separate autopsies. We'll continue to update you as we learn more. Right now, a Sevier County deputy is still at UT Medical Center following a crash over the weekend. Police say Deputy Jonathan Dodd tried to pull someone over for a traffic stop on I-40, but they refused to stop. Dodd started to chase the suspect until he crashed into a truck. Emergency crews took him to UT Medical Center. His canine, Toro, suffered a concussion in a swollen eye. A Gibbs High School student is charged after making threats to shoot others at school on Friday. The Knox County Sheriff's Office says the student threatened the school after students retaliated against them following a video posted to social media with racial slurs. The 16-year-old now charged with threats of mass violence. And around the state, a 17-year-old teen accused of shooting two people after a high school graduation on Middle Tennessee State's campus will remain behind bars. Murfreesboro police say one person died in the shooting, another is recovering. The district attorney's office is working to determine if the teen should be tried as an adult. A hearing is scheduled for August. And a Knoxville man is facing homicide charges after a shooting over the weekend. Officials say they responded to the M Star Hotel on Alcoa Highway. When they got there, they found a man who was shot. He was taken to UT Medical Center where he later died. Police say Michael Anthony Huerta got in an altercation with the victim in the parking lot before the shooting. He is now charged with criminal homicide. A 21 year old Knoxville man will be behind bars for the rest of his life after killing one person and hurting another. Jonathan Lee Davis Jr. convicted of several charges, including first degree murder and attempted robbery. District Attorney Sharm Allen says it happened during an attempted robbery at the Red Roof Inn on this on Central Avenue Pike in October of 2020. He's sentenced to life in prison plus 15 years. Continuing coverage this morning, we're learning more about what kind of patient information could have been exposed during a cyber attack against East Tennessee Children's Hospital. The hospital was attacked back in March. Children's Hospital says some of that information may include social security numbers, medical history, contact information, even name and date of birth. If your information was affected, you should get a notice from the hospital. They're also helping those people with credit monitoring and identity theft protection services. And this morning, a motel in Rocky Top is no more. Demolished after closing in March due to several code violations. The Blue Haven Motel was located just off of Interstate 75 in Rocky Top. City officials called it unfit for human habitation. During an inspection, the city found some rooms didn't have proper fire alarms, some structural damage, and unsanitary living conditions, including feces in some rooms. No word yet on what the owner wants to do with the property. The city manager hopes whatever comes next, it will drive revenue in the city. And around the world, President Biden wrapping up his diplomatic mission to Asia. Yesterday in Japan, the president indicated the U.S. would be willing to use force to defend Taiwan against Chinese aggression. China views the self-governed island as its territory. China responded to the president's remarks by saying the U.S. is, quote, playing with fire. And the White House says a second flight from Germany loaded with baby formula will arrive in the U.S. this week and will be transported to a Nestle facility in Pennsylvania. This is all a part of what they're calling Operation Fly Formula. The first round of formula landed in the States over the weekend as a cargo plane of 39 tons landed in Indiana. Still, though, it could take weeks before parents can see an impact on store shelves. In 43 states, including Tennessee and Kentucky, more than 40% of formula products were recently sold out. And those gas prices continue to set new records ahead of Memorial Day weekend. AAA expects close to 700,000 Tennesseans to hit the road for the holiday. 
Gas prices are up about eight cents a gallon since last week, and here's what we're paying right now around the country 460 statewide. The average about 429 in Knoxville, just below the Tennessee average sitting at 424 diesel prices climbing up as well. 75% from a year ago. The cost has jumped so much that the Biden administration is considering an emergency declaration to help ease the diesel shortage across the country. The move would allow President Biden to release fuel from a rarely used stockpile. Some analysts say the impact of the release would be minimal and only help for a short time. NWVLT proud to be your official station of the Vols tonight. The Vols will find out who they'll play in the second round of the SEC tournament. Either Vanderbilt or Ole Miss. Winner faces the Vols tomorrow night in Hoover, Alabama. Getting a final look at your first alert traffic. You could run into some pockets of fog along your commute, most notably along I-40 through Cumberland County. Just get those low beams on and use caution as you're getting out the door. But right now we're not seeing any delays on those interstates and main roads. Want to show you a live look at I-75 at Merchant Drive. You can see that volume is still light. We're not tracking any congestion. You are looking good to get out on the road on this Tuesday morning. Your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Heather Haley. 655 now kicking off the day here again with that rain moved out and really a lot of the hazy, foggy views from all that rain, which at least helped to wash away all the extra pollen that was stuck to everything. Now we're more at a moderate level as the trees and grasses start to come back up today. Mold actually coming back down from all the rain yesterday, but a heads up that the humidity is still high and the mosquitoes love it. So we've actually got a high level on the skeeter meter both today and tomorrow with those scattered storms in between. And then the cold front will knock that back down with the rain returning on Thursday. So you can even see all around us. This was yesterday's rain. Here comes tonight's scattered storms and then that cold front will be pushing east to end the week. So for now we have the layers of clouds, the drizzle, the mist and some fog. Dense fog still on the plateau and along it and then a little hazy in other parts of our area under that blanket of cloud cover that's kept us kind of hovering in the upper 50s to low 60s. 62 Knoxville to 54 Cosby, 56 in Huntsville and 57 in Crossville. A lot of us shared this view kind of a gloomy look to the day. At least we'll work on kind of whittling back the cloud cover, mostly cloudy midday to partly cloudy. Some sun breaking out at times this afternoon as we make it to 70 at noon and a high today of 80 degrees. Then those scattered storms tonight Again, about a 60% coverage overnight, but it goes back down during the day tomorrow to only go back up Wednesday night into Thursday. Definitely some on and off rain trends here before that heat comes back in for your Memorial Day weekend. A ride in that roller coaster that is East Tennessee weather. Yeah, but we sure. needed the rain, we so did. I'm glad that we're chipping away at that. And I'm glad Memorial Day is looking pretty nice. It is 656. We're headed over to WBXX. Here's a live look in downtown Gatlinburg on this Tuesday morning. Have a good one.